what's going on guys, um, welcome back to another video, um, so in today's video I'm just going to be doing a quick little tour of my Sea of Thieves locker, um, so I'm just going to be basically showing you guys the basics, um, the stuff that I have, um, I was just kind of thinking of what kind of videos I could do and I just thought of this and so, uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. Um, so I'm going to start off probably going through clothing and stuff like that. Uh, let me take off this first real quick. I'm probably going to start it off just going through my clothing and stuff like that. So let's get right on into it. Um, first up, we got costumes. Um, I own quite a few costumes, I guess you could say. Um, so we got the obviously standard ones here. Um, the gold hoarder one. I wouldn't really, um, it's kind of okay, I guess, same with like all three of these, I wouldn't wear the costumes to them, I would just probably wear the store ones, because they did release that you can buy all these items separately, you know, like the shirts for all these, the hats, and everything like that, so I'd probably just do that, because I don't really like the hook, um, on the gold hoarder, and merchant ones, so I could just like wear it normally. Um, but yeah, these are pretty cool costumes, I guess. You get them from, um, leveling up in the different emissaries, and stuff like that. Next we got the Reaper PJs. This is basically like these, but for the Reapers, I guess you could say. Um, so it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, you know, kind of for swabbies, I guess you could say. I don't really see a lot of good players wearing this. Um, but... It's just like one of those costumes that if you see, you'll just be like, oh, alright. In my opinion, this is from my experience, you, if you see a Reaper PJ, just be like, oh, alright, this should be a pretty easy fight. Um, but who knows, you could run into some level 1000 freaking Guardians or Fortune or something like that with wearing the Reaper PJs, so. Who knows, it's really, it all depends. Um, next we got the Athena's Fortune costume. Again, this is like all the rest of these. You level them up by getting levels up in Athena. Um, these are like the emissary ones, so... Wait, what? Um, oh, I think we have a bug here. Alright, we're good now. So this one, I, like, I don't really know what to say about it. In my opinion, it's kind of like really bad. It's just like... It's just not really good. It's just like I it the chains around it are pretty nice, I guess you could say. But they're just kind of like bad. I mean if you see somebody wearing this you're they're probably flexing it because they just got PL and they want to show it off or something like that. But um yeah, it's an, it, I hate it. It's it's terrible in my opinion. Um next costume. We got bullet star costumes. Um, these ones are pretty nice, I guess. They do come in with this built-in emote. I'm gonna show you guys here. I think it's called yeah, stargazing. Sit up here and stargaze out. Mm, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, it's pretty cool when you move around. Um, different things change on it. But yeah, overall, not my favorite thing ever. It's quite bright. Um, but yeah. Next, we got the Veil of Ancients costume. Now, this costume, this is this is a pretty sick costume. I mean, it's just like it's very nice. I like the glow in the eyes. It's it's glowy, but it's not too glowy. It's like the it's got a cool mask to it, and I just overall enjoy this it's kind of a really nice costume um one of m it's definitely my favorite costume that i own and probably my favorite costume in all of sea of thieves the spinal costume rip off scaly curse we're not even going to talk about that next we have these are just battle pass ones um from different tiers in the battle pass you can level up you got this one this one and then this oh, wrong order this one, um, yeah, if you want to look like a giant bird going across the ocean, I guess this is the costume for you. Um, next we got the Sting Tide. Again, if you want to look like a jellyfish going across the ocean, go for it, because this outfit is definitely for you. It's, uh, it's just kind of 
terrible. It, like, I would never wear this, ever. I'd wear it for a meme, probably, and that's about it. Alright, next we got the hat. Um, I'm not really gonna show ev oops. I'm not gonna really show every hat. I'm just gonna kind of skim through these. Got a few PL hat and stuff like that. My, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite hats. Um, Imperial Silverton hat, one of my favorites. It's just kind of a meme and it's funny. Explorer's hat. I like wearing this one because it's just like, like when I think of a nice hat in TFDs, I think of something like this. Obviously, if the colors were different, it'd be cooler. But like, I think of something like this or the Hunter's hat. If the Hunter's hat wasn't a swabby hat, and like this is as well, it's like 2,700 gold. But yeah, we got the uh, slow trap here. Um, dashing hats, you know, a few. We got a twitch drop, a few twitch drop hats in here. We got the uh, tattered tunes hat. Very nice, very nice. Um, legendary spires hat. I like this hat a lot. I like the colors of it. It kind of looks like the PL hat in a way, but this one is obviously way, way better and harder to get than PL hat. Then we got the banana hat, obviously. Best hat in the game. Just kidding. We don't talk about that. Um, next week, you're going to move on to shirts. I don't really wear shirts. I usually just wear um, the skeleton curse, mostly, and stuff like that. But when I don't have that on, you'll see me probably wearing the Bill Drasher here, or just no shirt with something on. I really like this shirt, um, the Prosperous Privateer shirt. I don't even know if I said that right. Um, then we got the Merchant one. Got some gloves here. I don't really own a lot of gloves. I don't really use, like, any of them. The locked up gloves, I used to wear these a lot, but then I found these. The, um, amazing rings. I really like these. These are very nice. Jackets, I literally don't wear jackets, like, at all. If I do wear a jacket, I'm either wearing this one right here, um, the high collar jacket, or where is it? Or the Eastern Winds jacket. So, I don't really wear a lot of jackets, but when you do, you see me wearing these ones. Dresses, I've literally never wore one of these in Sea of Thieves. The only time I have is, obviously, when I first got my first character. But, other than that, never. I never have belts. Don't wear belts either. I bought a couple, I guess. I don't really wear them at all, though. They don't really matter to me. Bottoms. The only bottoms I usually wear is the these ones, the sandy ones, and then the hip skirts. Because you can really match these with quite a bit of stuff, or the wearing bonica ones, and the frost ones are pretty nice. I don't wear any of the other ones, don't even know why I have them. But, um, yeah. These ones are pretty nice. And the trousers of curse bond, I sometimes wear these ones, but yeah, not a lot. Boots, really don't wear boots again, um, I usually just wear these ones because they look funny, like your toes just hanging out front, or I wear the Admiral ones when I do, or I just wear nothing, or just the Sailor. Um, obviously don't wear that. Alright, now let's move on to Vanity. Um, beards, I'm not even going to cover this, I, my character, I don't wear beards, on my character, since it's a girl character. Hair dye, we got a few hair dyes here that I bought. Eye patches, don't wear them. Um, if I was to wear it, it's probably the mercenary one. Hook, don't wear hooks either. Hate hooks. Peg legs, I don't really care for. The only peg leg that I do care for is this one right here. Because it actually looks like your leg and it's quite funny. You literally are like a Pinocchio ripoff, I guess. Titles, um, I'm not going to go through these. I'm just going to go through the cool ones, I guess. Um, Tail Whisperer, this one is from streaming 20 hours on Twitch, um, Raider of the Damned, I guess is a pretty cool one, we got some Hunter one, the Seasoned Hunter, you know, stuff like that, um, some Athena, some Reaper, most of these are Emissary ones, and from Emissary Ledgers and stuff, I don't really have a lot, um, I don't really get a lot of those titles, or wear them at all, we got Guardian of the Sea, um, pretty nice, and then we got, uh, Warrior of the Flame, and Silver Hoarder, I kind of cheated my way to this, I didn't really do it, I had, I just joined a friend when he was about to get to the end, and yeah, that's how I got it, I guess. Tattoos, um, we got 
kind of a little bit of tattoos. We got the Wearing Barnacle ones, the um, Constellation ones. These ones are really cool. I like these. And those are the only ones I really wear, or the ancient gold ones. I tend to wear these quite a bit. Scars, don't wear them. Makeup, um, I guess. I mean, you don't really have a lot. I never wear it. If I do, it's either the Gilded Age ones, or the makeup of ancient gold. Now, curses. We do have four curses. Um, missing out on the other two. I've been working on getting the gold curse. I've been doing tall tales slowly by slowly. Uh, we got the ashen curse here. The legendary curse, one of my favorites. I love it. Skelly curse. Um, if you want to look like a glow stick and be seen from a mile away, I guess you could wear this. Personally, don't really like it. It's just like kind of bad in my opinion. Um, then we got the Skelly Curse, obviously, um, favorite curse in the game, I mean, who does not want to be a skeleton? Um, I do have a few for this, I don't really have a lot, got a couple, got two legs, three bone colors, one head, and two torsos, so, um, yeah, don't really have a lot for that. Alright, we're gonna move on to equipment, I don't have a lot of equipment, I'm kinda just gonna skim through this a little bit, but we have a few, um, Ghost Guardian Banjo, I usually wear that. Sea Dog Bucket, one of my favorite buckets. If I'm not using the Sea Dog one, I'm using the Mercenary one. I really like the Mercenary set. I think it's very nice. So that's why I usually use it. This one, I like it a lot because it's got the little um, PL face on it. So it's got like the, the PL still on it. So I like that. That's why I usually use that one. Mercenary etc. Again, love that set. Um, we got the Ghost Drum. Um, Obsidian Fishing Rod. We got the Hurdy Gurdy got quite a few lanterns. I really like lanterns. Um, they're actually, I usually collect a lot of lanterns because I tend to switch them up a lot. Um, Pocket Watch, this is from the newest adventure. Um, I will be making a video on that adventure and showcasing who was behind all of that and basically what is going to come in the future from that adventure. Um, Golden Sailor one, the Eastern stuff, got a few shovels here. Speaking trumpets and then spyglasses. Um, always wear the ancient spyglass. I think it's the best spyglass in the game, in my opinion. A few tankards. Um, coconut. I think it's once again the best tankard in the game. Who doesn't want to drink from a coconut? Like, for it. Um, we got a couple more things to show. Armory. We've got some cutlasses here. Um, now when I do wear cutlasses, it's either it's one of these three right here. One, uh, one of these four because I don't really care for any of these other ones. They're mostly from the store. Flint Knox, once again, if I'm going to wear one, it's the Mercenary one, um, the Legendary Fortune one, or the Fates of Fortune Pistol. I don't care for any others. They're mostly from the store, and I think they're bad, generally. Wonders, um, when I do, it's either Sea Dog, um, or, the Gold, or the Sailor Blender Blesses, or I tend to use the blunderbuss of the damned a little bit, and yeah, that's probably it for blunders. Um, I have reach. Um, when I, I've been um using the admiral I have reaches a lot. I kind of like these ones. It kind of reminds me of the um barnacle ones without the barnacles. Um, I think those are quite nice. But I really like the um. I don't really know what to call this, but this set in general, like, um, how these all, like, match here, if you know what I'm talking about, we got, like, this, and then this, the reskins, these kind of reskins, I like these a lot, so, um, I usually tend to use the obsidian and the legendary one, and this one, I like the spring blossom a lot, we do have one more category to show, ship customization okay I don't have a lot I'm kind of just gonna go through this quick I'm trying not to make it too long for you guys we got the masterful guardian um, supreme silver gin these are the only ones I usually wear sometimes I'll use the omen one I think it's quite cool but um, yeah um, whole I usually just wear the omen or the killer whale one because I don't really have a lot that match with anything so it's usually just those. Sometimes I use the Reapers or this Order of Souls Hold because I like the purple that comes out of the Order of Souls one and I like the red that comes out of this one. 
sales, most important, obviously. Um, we got the Obsidian Sales, obviously, in Game Pass Ultimate. I literally just got Game Pass Ultimate just for that. We got a couple Twitch drop ones in here. Um, some Athena, stuff like that. Gilded Phoenix over there. Um, we got some Reapers. Burning Blade, love these sales. Um, and these. We got some wheels over here. Usually just use the Magpie Wing one. I've been using the Ashen one a lot lately because I just like it. It's kind of a simple wheel. You just got the Ashen and then all the other things, so it's quite cool. Cannons. Don't have Golden Sailor Cannons, very sadly. I usually use the normal ones or the Ruffian Sea Dog ones. These ones are just other cannons. Don't really care for any of them. I think the rest of them are bad, genuinely. Cannon flares don't use them. Cap stands. When I do use a cap stand, it's probably the candle one because I think it's just nice. It kind of brightens up your ship a little bit, in my opinion. And I think it's quite cool. Or the sweet tree one. Pretty cool. Um, and we got a few flags over here. That's about it. Uh, that is about it for my locker in Sea of Thieves. Um, so I think that's gonna be it for this locker review in Sea of Thieves. If you did like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment uh, which thing for my locker is your favorite. And uh, I will see. You